And joining us now from the John W. Gallivan Program in Journalism, Ethics, and Democracy, we Thank have the Edmund P. Thing. Joyce Director, Richard Jones, and visiting journalist, Victoria St. Martin. The Gallivan Program well, gives students the opportunity to be a force for good through its new Covering America class, which has brought them to Puerto Rico and to Houston to cover the impact of major hurricanes on America's communities. Both of you, welcome to Notre Dame Day. We're thrilled to have you with us. And so I understand both of you come from backgrounds in journalism, now kind of shifting to the academic side. Just how has that background in journalism gone, you know, going into academics now and kind of providing that for the, for the students? Yeah, thank you for having us. It's great to be here. Uh, that really has been a great experience. My last job at the New York Times, I directed the internship program and also helped with hiring. So I really have a sense of what students need in terms of skills and, and knowledge to really hit the ground running once they hit the professional yeah. world. So. And I came here from the Washington Post. So same, you know, I feel like um, we worked at, you know, one of the top two newspapers in the country, and it's exciting to be able to bring what we learned in the newsroom to our classrooms. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just incredible having someone from the New York Times and the Washington Post both here at Notre Dame teaching students, uh, you know, all the foundations of journalism. That's fantastic. Now, I want to talk about the Covering America class that you guys have brought. Now, this actually allows students to travel to some of the sites of these major hurricanes that we've seen recently. Uh, cover their impacts in their communities. So Rich, I want to start with you. Just what inspired the creation of this class? Yeah, you know, again, being in the newsroom, you'll see younger journalists often put into these situations that they aren't really prepared for, unfortunately. Yeah. They'll have the, the understanding from the classroom, but they've never had a chance to really put those skills into practice. So this is designed to help make those experience a lot less abstract, you know. Uh, we both view journalism as a public service, and this also emphasizes that piece as well. During these trips, our students report and they also perform public service projects as well. And in, in, in Houston last year, we, we helped to renovate a home. Uh, and in Puerto Rico, just last month, we helped to repair a women's shelter there. Wow. So, so those ideas that you can be a solid journalist and a, and a great citizen both look, go hand in hand in our program. Now, each of you has, has led a class trip. Rich, you went to Houston, and Victoria, you went to Puerto Rico. Victoria, how did the students benefit from seeing and covering the, you know, these communities in person rather than just sort of seeing, seeing the news on TV? It, it was incredible. I think the one thing um, we saw while we were there, and even in Houston, too, is this idea of, you know, how do you cover a national event? Like, that's the question, right? Yeah. How do you cover a national event? And how cool is it that the first time you're covering a national event that you're with your professors and you're with practicing journalists. Yeah. Um, you know, I brought in an old co-worker from the Washington Post who covered Hurricane Maria to work with us. We had um, local Puerto Rican journalists working with us. And it was just so amazing for students to be able to see not only what we talk about here at Notre Dame in the classroom, but outside in the world, how that works. And I think it just really opened up their minds, like really cracked yeah. open like their journalism minds to see what, what could be possible. And I think at the end of the week, everybody kind of came up to me like this, this was an experience of the lifetime and, and it was the best time of my life. And, I, and, you know, and it, it's so special for us to be able to do that for them. Yeah. Rich, I see you nodding along as well. Just what, what are your, what were your thoughts and your experiences of, from your trip to Houston? Yeah, I, I, you know, similar, very similar. Things became a lot less abstract. Mm -hmm. Things became really grounded. We can talk in class about the difficulty of interviewing someone who's experienced trauma, but when you're face to face with someone yeah. who's getting emotional, that's a, it's a different, whole different, different, different ball game. Uh, and I think it's just so vital. And as, as as the professor said, you know, we we did have a couple students say this was you know real news nerds, right? This is one of the best times of my life. So, yeah. So that was that was it's yeah. really gratifying to have yeah. to have that experience too. That's awesome. Yeah. Now I, I understand you guys are doing a summer trip to London this yeah. summer. Uh, Rich, I wanted to ask you just what will the students be be covering uh, in London on this sure. excursion? Sure. So that's a that's a three part trip. One, they're going to be doing internships at UK based media outlets. Mm -hmm. We'll be studying uh, as well uh, British journalism and also have a study abroad experience uh, wrapped in that program too. Uh, and probably Brexit will be the big story if I had to guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, just in the, another chance. To to get students out into the world, right? Experiential learning, having them learning by doing and, and, and really putting into practice the skills they're learning in the classroom. Uh, following up on that, I wanted to just ask you, how do you see both this class, the Growing Americas class, and the Gallivan program kind of growing in the future? Yeah, I think more chances to, to 
get students engaged in the world, mm -hmm. uh, more chances to really be of service, more chances to continue emphasizing the ethical piece and the foundational pieces, which are so, so important these days, yeah. um, and continue to incorporate all those pieces in the professional element as well. Yeah, and element. the multimedia element, yeah. the social media element. I really love, um, I, I, we try to create classes that we would have wanted as young journalists <laughs> yes. before we entered the field, really, yeah. um, um, and try and put that into practice here every day at Notre Dame. So yes, Jed is amazing. Well, as a, as a young journalist myself, I can assure you that I wish I had a class like this when I was at Notre Dame. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you both for joining thank us. You. This was great.